What my lab is interested in is uh, chromatin, mitosis, but especially uh, the centromere on mitotic chromosomes. And centromeres are defined by a histone variant called SEMP-A in Drosophila, our uh, model organism. It's actually the fourth talk and the fourth talk with model organisms. Um, so it's called uh, SEMP-A. Um, it's highly conserved also in humans and it replaces histone H3 here at the centromere. It recruits kinetic core proteins here in blue and then the microtubule spindle so you actually have an accurate mitosis. If you do not have SEMP-A you get massive failures in chromosome segregation. So SEMP-A is absolutely required for uh, chromosome segregation um, in most uh, living animals. And it is um, brought knowledge now in, in all organism studies that, study that centromeres are defined epigenetically by this histone variant. However, how SEMP-A gets there, what it really is that brings it there is not so clear because the underlying DNA sequence is not important. That's one part of epigenetics. So what we, but also other uh, people um, found is actually that centromeres are transcribed in mitosis. So you see here the active form of the polymerase II, for instance, um, at mitotic chromosomes. So it seems like there is transcription in mitosis at centromeres. And so we looked further and what we found is that satellite repeats that come here from those dark parts, the heterochromatin, are actually transcribed. Here you see an RNA fish and uh, they localize to mitotic chromosomes in trans at different loci, at the same loci on mitotic chromosomes. And we went on and showed that those uh, uh, regions, those repetitive regions are not only transcribed, but they also have a function, the transcripts themselves. So if you deplete them by uh, LNAs, for instance, you see that you get massive chromosome segregation defects if those excuse me, if those transcripts are not there anymore. And that is also true if you have deletions in pre-plastoderm or syncytial embryos in Drosophila. Um, so uh, we furthermore showed that those satellite 3 RNAs are required for the maintenance of centromeric uh, chromatin, but also for the recruitment of SEMP-A of the loading factor of kinetic core proteins. And so we hypothesized that we need RNA, long known coding RNA, to really maintain centromeric chromatin um, in Drosophila, but probably also in other species. If you don't have the RNA, the kinetic core will fall apart. And that's really where we started the hypothesis of the then the ERC grant that, that we got is that centromeric RNAs, either transcribed from centromeres but lo or localizing to centromeres or both, may actually be a major epigenetic regulator for genome stability or centromere maintenance. And what we are going to do in the future really is to um, for one, characterize a satellite 3 RNA. What does it bind to? How does it the structure look like, how does it influence uh, centromeric chromatin, but also identify and characterize additional centromeric RNAs because we, we, we are pretty sure that um, satellite 3 RNA is just really the, the, the tip of the iceberg. And how we are going to do that is really um, find the other RNAs at um, centromeres. And for that, we established a pipeline where we uh, immunoprecipitate centromeric chromatin by SEMP-A, SEMP-C, uh, purify the RNA. And uh, we have done a chip uh, RNA uh, sec on that to identify um, RNA that localizes to centromeric uh, chromatin. And uh, we have done so already and we find a lot of different RNAs but what was really surprising to us is that what we find is that tRNAs are actually highly enriched at centromeric chromatin so nothing to do with translation we think but why was that so interesting to us is because when we pulled on satellite 3 what we also found or other uh, centromeric RNAs what we also found is that RNA tRNA modifying enzymes for instance DNMT2 and enzyme 2 which are uh, tRNA specific methyl transferases also highly specifically localized to centromeric chromatins in mitosis. So now what we are doing is to understand how tRNAs and tRNA modifications influence chromosome segregation because if we deplete, for instance, DNMT2, we also get massive chromosome segregation defects. And so there are non-canonical canonical functions for tRNAs, tRNA methylation, but also modifying enzy uh, um, enzymes at the centromere. And that's just one part of what we are going to do in the next few years. And those are the people that, that's my group as of Friday, in fact. Um, that's Silvana Rochis who started the project with Satellite 3. Merit was a student and Mark um, is currently doing the tRNA story. Our collaborators, those faces you may have seen. 
and thank you to the uh, funding. <laughs>